Hey, it's Jeff Canato with another NLB Mini. I had the opportunity to see Chef this week, the new movie from Jon Favreau. Now, I grew up loving Jon Favreau movies. Swingers and Made had a huge impact on me. I, I love the writing style. I love the Vince Vaughn, Jon Favreau buddy thing. Uh, and, and I really, I really, uh, I think Swingers is up there as one of those 90s touch tone films for me and, and made as well, honestly. And then, of course, Favreau went on to help define the Marvel movies with the first Iron Man film. And so there's a soft spot in my heart for him. So when I see he's got a new movie coming out and it seems to be a work of, of passion for him, a passion project, I ran out to see it. And Chef is a very sweet movie. It's a very sweet movie. Uh, I enjoyed it. it. It's a little too pat it's a little too neatly tied up in a bow, but, uh, but for the most part, it's a really sweet movie. The story is about a chef who uh, isn't a very good father and learns to become one. That's basically the idea, and he has to, in, in doing so, he has to sort of screw up his life and put it all back together. And, uh, you know, it's not, it's not on the level of a swingers or a maid. It's not going to give you those laugh-out-loud moments or those iconic scenes. But there's a lot of fun to be had. And, you know, it's a sweet movie about a dad learning how to be a better dad. And, um, you know, I dug it. I really was excited to go see it because I love food. <laughs> I'm a big fan of food and pictures of food and people cooking food. I, I'm a sucker for all that stuff. And a lot of this movie is gratuitous shots of people preparing delicious meals. And if you like that stuff, you're going to you're going to find a lot to like. I mean, just Favreau making a grilled cheese sandwich in this movie is like pornography. It's uh it, it, it's it's just lusciously shot and you just see him take so much care in making the perfect grilled cheese sandwich and my gosh, my mouth was watering even though I came right from dinner to see it. Uh but Oh, and there's lots of there's lots of people in this movie. There's uh, Sofia Vergara is in it. Um, Scarlett Johansson is in it. Um, uh, Dustin Hoffman is in it. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. It really did feel like Favreau was calling on all his Marvel buddies and and other friends that he's made uh, in a lifetime of making films to be in this movie. And uh, so that it's packed with talent. A lot of those people are just minor roles. You know, it, it, I wish it was funnier. I wish there were more big moments of laughter or iconic scenes. A lot of this movie, honestly, is about an old guy learning how to deal with new technology. So much of so much of the plot revolves around understanding what Twitter is, or uh, figuring out how to text, and and, and figuring out what uh, new media and and Vine, and it's all about sort of relating to his son, who is savvy on all those things, and he is not. Ultimately, I wouldn't say rush out and see this movie. It's it, it's sweet. It's a nice, you know, couple of hours in the theater. But it's it's not revelatory. It's not gonna it's not gonna give you deliver any kind of big wonderful father son moments like I really enjoy in in some movies. But it's sweet. So there you go. A little review of Chef, which is a sweet little movie. <laughs> Actually, I could sum that whole movie up in one word. That's all you really needed to know. You know. This is a this is a lovely movie to put on if you want to watch something with your parents or your your significant other. I mean, my significant other was like, yeah, it was, it was nice. So it's nice. I just wish it had been, had a little more zing, a little more zip, and uh, had a little more to say other than you know spend time with your kid, which I think is a little a little obvious. But I have to say, the kid that they the kid that was cast as the as Favreau's son is great, uh, unreal casting. Just, just, he he's so fantastic. Uh, but you know, it's a lot of people who behave in a way that only movie people behave. And uh, a, like he has a uh, a best friend who only exists to enable the story. Only exists to be a best friend. He has no personal wants or desires in the universe at all. And, you know, as I said, it ends in a very pat way. But I think people would enjoy it. I hope you enjoy this channel and the reviews that I've been putting out. More to come this week. So subscribe and like. And I'll see you next time right here.